Hey, so today we're going to be pretending a little bit. We're going to pretend that we are on the initial rollout of Client's new network. And they need a employee.1x network and also a guest network. So using the instant platform here, we're going to get started. We're going to make this difficult. And this will be the guest network. Surprise, surprise. For the IP assignment, for this, we, we're just going to accept the default. But if needed, you can change it. Captive portal. They don't need to be authenticated for this, so we just need them to acknowledge it. But there's several options here if you want to change it. You can also edit the text and add in a redirect if, if desired. But we're happy with it. For this, we're going to go role-based because we don't want the, the guests roaming over the network. With, with the instance, they automatically create a role for the network you're configuring. So let's do some modifications to that role. Except, and let's add another one. HTTPS, okay. Be sure to delete that. And then, oh, deny. Okay. All right. So we have the role configured for the guest network. And we will have a guest network coming up momentarily. But for the, the, uh, the employee network, we're going to get started on it. And same way, not to be difficult. and the usage will be employee. Same with IP, we're going to go uh, network assigned. Let's bump this up to enterprise. For this, we're going to use the internal server right here. And I'll show you how, how we can add some users into the database for authentication. And since they are using a .1x authentication, we're going to leave the, uh, the access rules along. We'll just give them free reign. All right, there's the other network. Okay, now let's, uh, let's uh, add some users. We'll do to make it an employee add. Okay, that's how you add a user in to the internal server. Okay, now we can get to testing and see if everything's solid. Okay, I'm going to try the guest network first. And here is the captive portal. So that's successful. Okay, now let's try the, the employee network. And hopefully all goes well. And there is the successful authentication. So that is the simple way to get a client started with a authenticated and an open network. Thanks, guys.